Good morning, it's Monday the 12th of August. I'm refilming this because I managed to delete my intro. So I'm doing this at a different time, as you can see I'm tired. I've got some photo introduced today, um, orders to pick for tomorrow, so I'll be showing you those. Basically, I'm going to get Jennifer up, take her to nursery, and, and generally do my day job. This is going to be a weekly vlog, so you'll be seeing this sometime around the 20th, when I can edit it. Because my cables are all playing up and I can't edit anything. I can't get the stuff onto the phone, off the phone, so I'm going to have to order a new cable. I don't know, cables, they're hopeless. Anywho, I'll see you all later after work and I'll show you what I'll be doing later today. Okay, so I've got my light on and I've got my light tent that'll do so I'm going to be photographing um, some cameras and a couple of other things so I've still got two of these Pentax cameras to photograph so I've sold the other two that were the identical models and I've got another one here but this one's already been listed um, so I just need to put that away so there's those two I've got another Minolta 7000 I got another four of those I think or three of those after that one the Nikon F70 I have tested it it does work um, I've got a Yashica 200 AF it, again it does work I haven't got a lens for it but it does work excuse my foot I have got a white bop it smash which works and I've got this vintage sketchograph which I which cost me 50 pence from the jumble sale and they're selling for around 10 to 12, 15 pounds depending on whether or not they've got the box so i've got another two boppets up here that need testing and one downstairs that needs um photographing and listing so i don't know what's happened here it's gone a bit mad hang on looks like i accidentally zoomed in so i'm going to get these photographed it won't take long and then when these bits are photographed I'll just go and put them in the other room and I'll show you what I've got going out tomorrow. So I'm going to crack on with this. Okay, so I've now photographed the items I was going to. I'll have to excuse this. Um, and these are the items I sold this weekend. It's not very much at all. I sold Taurus Jerry Funko Pop. Didn't go for much. £8 free shipping. So that be a lot of profit in that. Super dry shirt, size 14, £10 free shipping. Uh, Evans top that went for a 560 plus shipping and this is the best one this is a it's a Taravo skirt it's got a handkerchief hem and I think it went for 5.9 plus shipping or 10.9 or 11 something like that anyway it was 15 pound with the shipping so this skirt and this to be honest it only cost me 33p so I'm not too worried <laughs> so all the photographing's done for today. Um, tomorrow I might photograph some clothes. I've got a lot of clothes to measure, but I still might photograph some more. And I have got... I might sort out some more cameras. I've got one that needs testing, just the, the um, meter. So I might do that later. So I'm just going to have a quick break in a drink before I start the washing up. I'm just watching Lex Oliver part three of her how much work do I actually do series um, which is interesting I've been just watching these started watching them this morning so I'm just gonna sit and watch this for five minutes have a little snack and then wash it up um, and then if she still see once I've done the washing up I'll see if I can get some stuff measured as you can see there's a little house here behind me this thing this has blocks in it and she keeps throwing them at us, which is why it gets put up there out of the way where she can't get to it. She doesn't like it, she starts crying. But there, I'm not having her throwing things at me. They hurt. She's asleep at the minute. I'll just show you. Here she is, sound asleep. She had a busy day at nursery. She was so pleased to see me. She came running hell for leather when she saw me. It was so nice. Of course, we've been together constantly for two weeks and now we're not. So I'll just let her see if it's in here, the tumble dryer's going. I'm going to get my list of jobs out and start crossing stuff off because I've actually done some of it. Okay, so I was just 
writing out handwriting out labels because I can't get to my printer because Paul's got his laptop set up there for work. Um, and just as I was writing through, I wrote the first one out and then went back to the page to get the next address to find that this lovely Polaroid Sun 600 camera sold. I paid £2 for this and it sold for £28 free ship. So I'm quite happy with that. It's about £18, £19 profit after fees. So I'm going to take this down and post it tomorrow. I might as well. It's still, it's not, what's about seven o'clock, I think. So it doesn't take much for me to just go and package this up now. I have to excuse my sheet. I need to wash, I'll be washing that this weekend. I've done my five listings for today. And like I said, I've, um, doing my packing ready for tomorrow before I have my shower. And I want to do some measuring so I can get some more stuff listed. I've got another three items ready to list tomorrow but i want five so i need to do a bit of clothes measuring so i can get some clothes drafted um but yeah so and i also had a message from somebody asking if i do a bulk discount on cameras so i've got to go back to them in a bit saying yes depends on what the cameras are that you're looking for let me know and i'll let you know what i can do and then we'll work it out um but uh i'm not going to go majorly on discounts i'm here to make a profit the whole point of this is that I want to be able to give up my day job and work from home so I can be with Jennifer. That's the whole point of me doing this and building this up. So this actually comes with a case. It's just a, a small bag. I'm probably going to bobble wrap the camera first and then put it back in the case, then bobble wrap the case and void fill the box. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little camera, not bad. I'm quite happy that sold for £28, so yay! Better crack on. I want to get this done. I want to get the measuring done. Then it'll be time for a shower. I've done pretty much everything. I haven't finished cleaning the kitchen. Um, I just can't do it all in one day. It needs a re I'm doing a deep clean, which I do every month. And with everything else I've got to do, there's just, I can't do it. So tomorrow, um, it's just now it's a matter of keeping that one section clean and cleaning the deep cleaning the next section and keeping that section clean and so on, which is what I'm doing. So as long as I can get it clean, I'll be happy. But I'm going to go down now and get this one packed up with my others so I can get them away tomorrow. Morning, everybody. It is now Tuesday 13th of August. Yay. I'm shattered. I've got most of the things on my list done yesterday. I didn't just clean all the kitchen. Um, I just didn't have time. I deep cleaned certain parts of it. I got a bit more tonight. Packed up my five parcels. Very happy with that last sale. I messaged the guy who wanted to bulk buy some of the cameras. He's in Australia. It's going to cost a fortune to ship them out there, according to his profile. I haven't had a look yet. Yeah, he sent me a list of the ones he wants, and I'll be looking at that later, working out if I can do him a deal. And I'll also need to look into how much shipping will cost, because obviously it could be quite expensive. Sorry, I'm really tired. <sighs> but I'll look at that later. I've got five listings I need to get drafted, so I can put some more items up tonight i got three items ready to go so i just need two more so i can put my five up and then tonight i'll be measuring i was going to photograph today but i've decided i'm not going to photograph today i'm going to photograph tomorrow i'm going to do measuring today get as much of that done as i can um just because i don't have as much time today because i've got to go to the post office i go to my sourcing sale and i have lunch with my mum and dad on a tuesday so i'm probably not going to get home till nearly three o'clock instead of like just after one so i'm losing it like an hour and a half two hours so i think i'll photograph tomorrow because i don't go to lunch with my mom and dad tomorrow I'll go straight home have lunch with paul and then when she's asleep nip up and do as much as i can photographing wise i'm determined to get on top of all this ebay stuff because i'm still buying stuff i'll hopefully get some stuff today um i want to i want to get it up to I mean, my profit is nearly £200 a month at the moment, which isn't a huge amount, but it's, it, you know, we're above 150 we're between 150 and 200 I want to try and increase that to over 200 this month, and I want to get my listing numbers up as well, because I want to go up to a bigger store as soon as I can. Um, the idea being that if I can make my, what I'm earning at the moment, my part-time wage, which is after stoppages, there's no tax, I don't pay tax, I don't have to pay tax now, I'm part-time. But after I've paid in my pension and my shares, because I'm in the share scheme at work, 
and my national insurance and i pay extra now because i made voluntary contrib extra vol extra contributions voluntarily this year based on my profits which wasn't very much but i don't you know i if i can make equal it's just under 900 pound a month profit I'll be happy. I could actually probably leave my job on around £700 a month because I won't have some expensive nursery fees, although I will keep her in nursery three days a week, and I won't have as much on the um, petrol because I won't be going out driving five days. I don't even drive in three days. So, But anyway, I'm going to drop her, take her into nursery now, and I'll see you after I've done my shift and let you know what's happening next. Hi everyone, it's getting quite late, it's about half past nine, everybody's gone to bed except for me because as usual I've got a ton of stuff still to do. I'm going to do some measuring items in a minute, um, so I've got some more stuff to draft and get listed. Luck, happy for me, when I was um, doing my five listings today, I actually sold another item which I'll show you tomorrow when I pull it because it will be posted on Thursday and I sold a pixie lock dress uh, for lipsy dress I think I'm not sure what size is 16 I think something like that. it's a lovely long grey dress it is um, so hopefully I'll get some more sales I totaled up what I could do for that guy who I think is in Australia and I messaged him I'm happy to do it for him but I just think the shipping's gonna be like 70 quid by parcel force so I don't know if it's going to be worth him doing it so I don't know it's up to him I was back in his court now to see what he wants to do um I bought some shopping today at the tat sale as I call it now I don't film in the tat sale I'm I'm pretty sure other resellers must go there uh, but I, I don't want to let everybody know exactly where it is because I get some good bargains and I got some today and I'm just going to show you very very quickly some of what I've got We'll have to excuse the shakiness and the mess because I haven't had time to tidy up. I'm really shy today. It's been one of those days. I bought 13 items for £6 today. And some of it is just your basics. So this is just an M&S collection shirt. Ladies blouse. And this is a next top. So the, the M&S one I think was... Uh, I got six items for six pounds. I had five items, sorry, I had five pounds worth of 50 pounds, which is 10 items, and three for a pound. This next yellow top, which I like, was 33 on the three for a pound. It's 33. It's not going to be able to show you very well, but um, what I did get on this was 33p. And it's a long jumper. It's a size 18, so it would probably fit me. Now, I think this is a good brand. I thought it was when I saw it, and Paul says it is. I can't find the label. Hang on. So this is Fire Trap. Now, Paul says it's a good brand, an expensive brand. I've never found anything by Fire Trap before, so I don't really know it, but it was only 33 pence, you know, or 33 and a half or whatever. So it's, it's I'm not going to lose money on it. But I also found, if I can find those, some nice um caft hands there's this really nice top by as by ronald joyce I, I have no idea it's just a really nice creamy top just thought it was nice it's very plain it's just a plain top it feels like nice material it's probably something stupid like polyester um, it is yeah polyester but in here somewhere there's this really nice and I'm assuming this is vintage because or it's an older style because they don't use this label anymore. This is a really nice pattern and it's white stuff. But it's this old massive label. So I, I don't know when that was from, but I'm assuming it's quite old. But I, I thought I saw that and I thought, well, that looks nice. And I saw it with white stuff and I thought, I've got to have that. And then I saw Dorothy Perkins skirt. I've got a warehouse sort of funny coloured, multi coloured jacket. Warehouse, which is a size 10, it is 21% wool. So 
is acrylic wool and um oh yeah viscose i can't even speak then i got this really nice this is just a very nice patterned vest top with these roses on it all these pink flowers on it and it's by vis-a-vis -vis. i think it's probably just a market store i don't know but it's just a really nice pattern top but for 50p i'm not going to turn it down and then the two best items well it's quite a flooded market but we got this lovely blue it's more of a greeny blue than that vest top with um a ruffle down the front but it's ted baker it's a size Two. I don't know what that is. I need to look it up. I think it's a 10, is it? Possibly. I don't know what this material is. It feels nice. Um, let me just have a quick look. It's been dry cleaned. It's got a dry cleaning label on it. So it's probably silk then. So whoever it was, I dry cleaned it before they donated it. Yeah, it's 100% silk. That's really nice. And then we got a white... Ted Blake Baker size three uh, blouse. And it's just really, you can tell it's quality because it feels quality. Uh, it's cotton nylon elastane blend hand wash. But the two Ted Baker tops, they were only 50p each. I'm not going to be leaving Ted Baker behind. Now, last week, I bought five tops for £2.50 or some £3.50. I bought one dress, which was a pound, and four tops or something. And every single brand was next. It was all next. All the stuff was next. But I went in today and I was literally pulling stuff off the rail. Like there was no tomorrow. I could stock my shop with just stuff from there. So that's what I picked up. Yeah, I could really just go there and probably I could stock my shop just from that place if I wanted to do the lower end stuff, which I'm happy to do. I mean, I'm happy to sell things for eight or ten pounds or less. The dress I sold today, the pixie lot for Lipsy went for fifteen ninety nine plus shipping. So that was quite a good one. Um but I mean if I can get a ten of these Ted Bakers, I'm happy. Um hopefully I'll get a bit more on the fire trap. But it's I could fill my shop with that quite easily if I had the time. I've got so much stuff to list, clothing wise. And I've still got loads of cameras to still sort. I've got tons of them. Oh yeah, and there was another top I didn't show you. Because I forgot because I'm an idiot. And again, this was fifty pence. It's just a sheerish top. It's Bowden, but I mean obviously Bowden's not as good as it used to be. It's quite saturated, but I like the fact it's like um pink spots on a white background but there's not much of the background it's only going to be something like polyester or viscose or something stupid like that uh yeah it's viscose but i just thought it's a nice design and for 50 pence i'm not going to go wrong i'm going to now go and do some measuring um that's going to be it for tonight i know i'm again i'm pretty used to doing this weekly vlogging i'm just too tired all the time I'm going to do some measuring so I've got some stuff to draft tomorrow. I've got three items that are ready to go live. I like to do five a day, so I need to do at least two measures. I want to try and do seven so that I've got five for tomorrow and then five in reserve for Thursday. Wednesday tomorrow, yeah. It's Wednesday already tomorrow. Um, so I want to try and do more than I'm doing each day. So tomorrow I want to photograph ten items. Um, and I want to measure seven tonight and then I want to try and measure ten tomorrow. So they've got always got five or more drafts in review. So as I go in and I'm listing five every day, if I'm drafting ten, it's going to build up so that I've always got something. Then if something happens and I can't photograph or draft or measure for whatever reason, I'm ill, Paul's ill, Jennifer's ill, um, house falls down, I don't know, I can hopefully... I'll have stuff ready to go live. So I've just got to click the list button. That's the plan. My hair is a mess, as usual. I was supposed to have my hair cut this weekend, but I've cancelled the appointment because of Paul breaking his ankle. I'm having it done on the 14th of September now. So hopefully by then he should be in a, in a boot. I'm really tired. He should be in a walking boot. So hopefully 
by the 14th I should be able to do it. I'm also hoping to start being able to go to Newport to get some more different types of stock, different types of, you know, i got to be honest, where I get my stuff from, it is brilliant. I can't complain. You know, I got 13 items for £6. You know, they were either 33p or 50 pence. Some of the brands are very good. Bowden, Firetrap, White Stuff, Ted Baker. I mean, for 50 pence, I'm not going to knock that place. Today was, an ex it was, today was a good day. Normally, it's mostly Marks and Spencer's. Next, New Look, Dorothy Perkins, Sun River Island, and then of course you got your George, your Two, uh, your Roman, and so on, and any supermarket brands which aren't as good, but will still sell. And at fifty p or thirty three p, they will still sell at a profit. But you get a day like today. I mean, you can go months and it's like all oh, Next or New Look or this, and and you might get the odd item of of decent stuff like white stuff. And then today you go in, two Ted Bakers, Fire Trap, White Stuff, Bowden, some Marks and Spencers. I'm not going to complain. Some odd brands that I know nothing about. Um, but overall today was a nice, I mean like this this little vest, I picked it up. Not because of the brand, but just because it was a, it's a really pretty, and I'm going to say linen by the feel of it. Top, I will check. It's got, I'm pretty sure it's probably got linen in it. Yeah, it's linen cotton blend. So it's what group? Rinku Group PLC. No idea, but it's a really nice little top. So obviously I'll research this stuff before I put it live. I mean I mean a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago I got under Nuki by for East blouse. It's still not listed, but I got it. A quiz dress. The quiz dress needs hand washing because there's some marks on the underskirt. You know. And if I only get a ten for these things, they only cost me a pound or fifty P. It, it's it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter i'm happy with it i'm gonna go because i've just been rambling at you now um if when i go to newport if i get some good stuff from one of the charity shops there sometimes i do i will do a, a haul video i've just got so much stuff to do and i'm so behind i got i mean before we went on holiday i got loads of stuff photographed ready to go and i haven't listed that yet i'm still that's what i'm listing now and that was like the end of June, beginning of July, and we're now in the middle of August. And I've been buying stuff. I've still got a load of stuff that's upstairs ready to be photographed. I've got two bags down here and another two bags upstairs. And I've still got jeans and some men's tops I haven't listed. And it's only stuff like cotton traders, but it cost me 33p. I'm only going to put it up for like eight quid and take offers of a band of fiver. You know, I'm not bothered about it because it's not stuff that's cost me a fortune. I mean, I am loath to spend more than a pound on items. I mean, the Pixie Loft dress, that was one ninety nine in the Bernardo's shop. Um, so to get £15.99 on it, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to get on and do my measuring. Then I'm going to check my PayPal fees. Because um, I like to do my accounts daily. So if I sell something, I will update. Because I use QuickBooks, I will update it every day. Um, today, because I went and posted items i posted five items and i bought all that i've already put that into my quickbooks so i know exactly where i am at the moment with this lipsy dress i have covered my fees for last month which were 80 something pounds i've covered that now so anything i make after today now as long as i don't have too many returns i've got one coming so that will knock me back a bit but i'm hoping i'm gonna get a few more sales in Anything else I get now will put me into profit for the rest of the month. Happy with that. Um, at the end of the month, I'll see if it's worth transferring money from my um, PayPal to my bank account. And I save £70 of it in various accounts. And then I leave 30 out of every £100, I save 70 and leave 30 in my bank to cover postage and stock. Um, I could do more. I put 40 into an online saving account uh, where I put things like I put my work bonus in there and I'm going to use that for, that's going to be for tax, national insurance, big stock purchases, so from the auction. Um, when I want a label printer, that's what that's for. I, I'll probably be getting one of those sooner rather than later and so on. Um, I put 30 into my ISA, which is my personal savings account at the moment. Once obviously I leave my main job and I'm doing this as a job, that won't happen unless I've got a lot of money in my normal bank account. 
and then I will I leave 30 into my other account to pay for postage and stock and it works out quite well so my my salary for my salary job it it literally pays my bills and there's money over so if I buy more stock than I have put in my bank for it's fine I like to leave between two to three hundred pounds in my PayPal account to cover any returns only because I do I do have some high value items on my account so I think I've only got one really high value and that's a dress um which is on for 160 it's not sold so I'll probably reduce it because I want to sell it it will sell at some point I'm sure it's a mother of the bride dress so I'll probably just knock it down and cost me a fiver it's one of the higher priced items um so I like to keep enough to cover that sort of return if I get one um once I you know I mean obviously I have sold some high priced items like some cameras and, and a Donkey Kong game so I like to make sure there's enough money to cover the, any of that if it comes back as a return. Touch wood and whistle. I haven't had a return, a huge return yet. I've had small items. But mostly, so far, it's all been clothing. I'm going to jinx myself now. I'm going to have a load of returns of non-clothing items. But there you go. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop boring you now. So it's Tuesday. Wednesday tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to do some photographing. 10 items i'm just going to do 10 i'm not going to push i'm going to if my manager's in tomorrow because she's not been well i'm going to see if she can tell me when i can have a morning off um because i work mornings um and what i'll do then if it's like wednesday hopefully i'll drop jennifer into i'll get up get up normal time drop jennifer into nursery and then i'll come back and i'll have a big photo session in the morning like i do um it's the best way of clearing some of the, the clothing stock to be honest to get it ready for measuring some people say don't measure it because people don't read it but the amount of times i've not measured it and i've had somebody say can i have the measurements please and i've had to go and find it unpack it measure it and repack it it's just easier to measure it and then i can say yeah the measurements are actually in the description if you read it and i also put that in the condition box um, i always put in the condition so excellent condition see photos measurements are in the description hopefully it helps so for instance i've got a top that i measured yesterday it had the sizing label removed it was the next top i measured it i went on to the next size chart on online and it turned out to be around a size 20. so i put that in i said um although the size label has been removed i have checked the measurements against the next website and it says it's a it's a 20. anyway i've bored you enough i've got to get this done otherwise i'm never gonna to get to bed so i'll see you tomorrow bye morning everyone it's wednesday and it's raining lovely so yes it's it's raining it's not very nice at all today it's warmer this morning than it was yesterday yesterday it was like eight and a half degrees this morning it's 13 and a half but it's horrible i'm tired because i stayed up late last night doing those drafts so i've got seven items measured that i can draft today which could be 10 drafts so i could put five live today i'm going to photograph 10 items today and I'm going to measure 10 items today. I want to try and get on top of the clothing so I can get some cameras out on the weekend and test some more cameras. Um, update on the guy who wants to bulk buy them. He's happy with the shipping cost as long as it goes GSP because he says that's cheap. I'm like, okay, maybe it is to Australia. I don't know. Which is fine, but he wants a bit more of a discount. I've already discounted him £37. I'm going to drop it one like a ten or more and that's it i'm not going any lower than 90 it's not worth me bothering i'm a business i'm trying to put you know i'm trying to set up a business so i can be at home and do stuff with jennifer hair's a mess as usual so take jennifer into nursery now and um yeah, go to work go home have lunch photograph 10 items 10 i'm dying to get onto the stuff i bought Recently, like the um, East Top and the Dead Beat, is, well, I'm just going to do it in order that I can, you know, because I've got stuff that I need that's been sitting there for a while. And try, that's what I'm going to try and do as much as I can. So, we've also got a bank holiday coming up in a couple of weeks, so we, there'll be a Monday off. So, I'm thinking that Monday off, I'll do as much photographing as I can, try and get it done. Anywho, we better go and take her into nursery. I'll see you after work. So
Hi guys, as usual I've forgotten to vlog all day. It's been one of those days, I've been busy, I'm tired. It's getting on for 10 o'clock or it's gone 10 o'clock and I am sitting measuring um, stuff. I've done five so far, I do want to try and do another five. I've had another sale, only very cheap, like one ninety nine auction, something I just wanted to get a shot of. So that's packaged up, ready to go. I'll go out tomorrow. I know I've got enough money on my weird drop and go account to cover that. I'm waiting on this guy who wanted the six cameras. I've put them on with the postage for the UK because obviously I've got to cover that. And of course, the GSP. If I don't hear from him by the end of tomorrow, I'm going to cancel that and I'm just going to relist them as they were originally because um, I can't be asked with faffing around with it, to be honest. So, you know, I've just been drafting measuring this ready and I put it in my notebook it's a Marilyn notebook Ta -da! Um, ready for drafting so you have to one two three four five one two three no I've done six actually excellent uh, those ones are all the rest of it stuff that's been listed um, what I do if I do that I dump it in this nice big Ikea bag ready to go up to be put away and then I go to this Ikea bag yeah, if you there's a big pile of records there I need to sort through put my hand in and I pull out an item and this is the next one, this is the next jacket next size 16 so I'm going to do this now and get it packaged up, I want 10 if I can, oops I need to drop the phone um, then I've nearly finished all the stuff that's photographed I didn't do any photographing today, I was going to I was too tired so I will have to do it tomorrow but that's about it really I want to get this done and head off to bed so I will see you tomorrow bye morning everyone it's Thursday it's Jennifer in the back ready for nursery um, <clears throat> so today list of things to do because yesterday I really didn't vlog much did I I'm terrible at it list of things to do for eBay today oh, go to the post office obviously drop past pass off There's only two but still better than nothing got Paul's sick note as well Go to the tax sale that I do before I go to the post office. So it's tax sale, then post office, have some lunch, and then I'll get on with eBay when I get home. I need to do some photographing because if I don't do any photographing today, I've got nothing to measure and draft. I've got one item, um, as I said yesterday. So I've got 10 that need to be drafted with the, and the photos uploaded. Um, the guy with the cameras didn't buy them in the end because he said the shipping was too high, which I knew it would be. And I did say I think the shipping will be too high, but he won this and he said it, you yeah. know. So I took down that auction, this, this that um, listing this morning, and I've relisted those six cameras individually. So technically, because I did them as sell similar, not as relists, I've done my listings for today. I don't need to do any more unless I want to. It depends on how much photo in I get done today. My aim is ten items. If I can get ten items photographed, great. If I can get any more done, I will because I've got things like some t-shirts and some men's clothes that I would hang on a hanger. Um, the thing with putting t-shirts on Maisie is you can't see the print, the photograph very well. So I've got one that I will put on Maisie and I'll photograph on and off of her because it's got um, a slash to back. So in order to show the slashes properly, it really needs to be on something. So it's a really cool t-shirt as well. So that's my plan. And then do some measuring items again when uh, Jennifer and Paul have gone to bed because it's just easier for me to concentrate that way. So we're going to get out of the car now, take Jennifer into nursery, go do the day job. And then hopefully crack on with some more eBay, get some more listings, get some more sales. Tomorrow's pretty much going to be the same. And then Saturday is camera sorting time. So I'll show you what I do with the cameras when I, uh, I get them out. I'll see you later. So I finished work and I've just arrived at the car park. I've got my two packages. I need to post. Go for the push chair. As you see, it's a lovely day now. I'm going to have to stop recording because I can't get the pushchair out because it's gone funny. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hi everyone, it's Thursday evening and um, I don't know, it's about half past nine, ten o'clock, something like that. Paul's, Paul and Jennifer in bed, I'm still up at the moment. I'm not doing any eBay work, I decided not to do any. Um, I listed some things earlier today. I'm happy with that. I'll do some try and get some work tomorrow. I'm just not feeling it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm feeling a bit down, a bit disheartened, dispirited, just literally just disinterested in anything at the moment. Um, 
I haven't had any sales today. I mean, I know I had one yesterday, but it was so tiny. It was hardly worth bothering about. I have days like this where I just get to the point where I don't think there's any point in carrying on with anything. Um, I know there is. And tomorrow I will probably be fine and happy and focused and will carry on working. Just today, for some reason, I feel really out of sorts. Um, so I'm just going to watch Old Holbies. Um, today's old episode of old, of old Holby City, and I'm going to a bed. Yeah, couldn't even bother to cook tonight. Just didn't want to eat, so we had a takeaway, and I did eat some of it, but I couldn't eat it all. Just, I'm honest with you guys. I mean, that's what people have said they like about it. That I I tell it like it is. I'm honest, and I I I'm real, and I'm keeping it real. I'm just not happy today. I'm just not in a good place. It'll pass. Um, when I was getting ready, Jennifer ready for bed, she just put her arms around me and gave me a big hug, which is like the greatest thing in the world, and I love it very much. And that's made me feel a little bit better because uh, hugs always do. <sighs> so I'll be fine tomorrow, I'm sure about it. But you know, I like to keep it real. I like to be honest with you guys. It's not all sunshine and roses. I'm not a person who's happy twenty four seven. There are days when I have off days. Today's one of them. And tomorrow will probably be completely all right. I might still be down, but more than likely it's Friday tomorrow. So when I finish work at lunchtime, that's it for the weekend. So yay, that'll be nice. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better and I will get on with my photographing tomorrow. Cause I, really, I really want to do it. I just don't feel like I've got the energy or the, the wherewithal to get on with it at the moment. I look at it and I think, I don't want to. Yeah, I went to my sorting sale today and spent six quid. I bought two. Everything was a pound. I've got two tops. I've got a Zara top and a Joe Brown's top. And then I bought four Lipsy dresses. Now, they're really teeny tiny sizes. They're all size eights. But they're really, really pretty. Um, so they'll just go up. I mean, I'm not averse to buying small stuff. I'll just put it up, you know. I'm averse to spending more than a couple of quid on an item now. I must admit, I can get so much good stuff so cheap that I don't want to spend four five six seven pounds on an item that i might get 24 when i can get an item for a pound and i'll get 15 for it to me it makes more sense but but yeah i mean i, I do get a bit down especially when i have days of no sales and you know it, it, it's just normal but tomorrow i'll probably be fine so and it's the weekend yay so i'm gonna head off to bed and i will see you in the morning bye Morning everybody, it's Friday, hooray! 16th of August, we're outside the nursery. Jennifer's wearing a lovely Minnie Mouse dress today. And yeah, I'm still tired, I feel a bit better. She's not at me, she wants to get out of the car. Which we will in a minute. Shh, it's all right darling, let me see you that. I got you, I got you. So it's the 16th of August, which means it's Elvis Presley Day. Yes, Elvis Presley died on this day. 42 years ago, so he was 42 when he died. So he has now been dead as many years as he was alive something to think about but his music lives on if you don't like Elvis there's something wrong with you go listen to if I can dream um or his rendition of Unchained Melody um The Impossible Dream such and such so many great songs and his rock and roll is brilliant as well so obviously I was only three when he died so I don't actually remember I do remember things from when I was three I remember the Queen's Jubilee that was also 77 and my brother was ill with meningitis that year which I also vaguely remember in fact he was just coming down ill when Elvis died and my mum was cuddling him in the living room and her dad and my dad were there as well and they announced it on the the tv and granddad and my dad looked at my mum as if saying oh my god and she looked up and she went well, it's not my fault so that's my little elvis story um i've got five listings i'm going to put up in a minute when i get to work get them up ready on ebay um then i've got 10 that i can list i just need to put the photos on so i had a complete night off of ebay other than putting up the fact that i posted my items and put the tracking numbers in so that was all i did last night um, but yeah, so we're here. We're going to go into nursery now. Like I said, I'll put those five up. I'm going to try and do some photographing. I'm so tired when I get off work. I just want to sleep. So but I'm going to try and do some photos before I have a dose after lunch. So come on, Jen, Jen. Time to go in. Yay. 
So I'm back home and I'm going to tackle this pile. I've already had my lunch. Um, not the stuff in the bags, but this loose stuff. There's quite a bit of it here, as you can see. And there's more bags underneath. So I'm going to try and tackle this stuff and get as much of this photographed as I can now in the next hour. Because um, I will want to try and have a little sleep while Jennifer's asleep. And I've got other things I need to get done as well. So like sorting out the bedrooms. So I've got all this to photograph. And as you can see, there's bags. And then there's this as well. And then there's stuff in there. And then there's more stuff downstairs. So I really need to start doing a little bit every day. I'm just going to eat the elephant, small bites at a time, and try and do a few every day. So even if I only do five, I'm going to try for ten. But if I do five, I'll be happy. So I'm going to crack on with that. And like I said, tomorrow I'll be doing five cameras, testing and photoing them. And I'll show you how I do that when I, um, I, I do it. So... Um, I'll show you the cameras um, where they are and I'll pull five random ones out. It'll be five different models and makes. So there may be two Minolta's, two Canon, one Nikon or something on those, but they will all be different models. I've got tons of them still. So I want to get them tested, get them photographed, get them listed because they're not doing me any good sitting in the box. I did five listings this morning, which is good. I put five up when I got to work, which I shouldn't do, but I did. It only took me a minute, but before I started, so it doesn't really matter. So I've done my listing for today. I don't have to do any more listings. I'm just going to do this, then I'll probably have the loo, and then I'll crack on with something else. So I'll see you in a minute. I'll show you Maisie um, as she's set up once she's got a, an outfit on. So I'll see you in a bit. So here's Maisie wearing a lovely red turtleneck jumper long sleeved i haven't put her arms in because it's it's a small size 10 by next and it's too complicated to get her arms in um but yeah so she wears a black skirt which is one of mine and it's pegged at the back because it's a 14 but uh yeah it's quite a nice one so we'll crack on i need to volume up this is a nice top. This is from one soon. This is number five. So I've done four. This is the fifth top I'm photographing. It's taking me about ten minutes so far, if that. It's, it doesn't take long. It's just, it gets hot in here and my back is crippling me. I get really bad back very quickly. So I'm going to try and get these, another five done after this and then call it a day for today and do some more tomorrow. So, but I like this one, like little bow detail on the shoulder. It's really pretty. So, yes. So I've kind of cheated with this one, um, although I do need to do something with it. Um, this one wasn't in the pile to be photographed, so I'm actually going to photograph 11. Um, I need to take this one down. There's a button missing off of it, but it's just these simple shell-like buttons. And I've got thousands of those in my button box. So I'll just pop them back on and declare that the button's been replaced. This is Anuki by East, or Anuki for East, um, which I understand sells quite well, so I wanted to do it. But now I've got to go and put buttons on it. I do like the silver thread on it though. Obviously the person who owned it just couldn't be bothered to put a new button on, but it's not like they're particularly anything special buttons. I know I've got plenty of these hanging around and it'll take me about two minutes to put a button on there. So I'm not actually worried about putting a, another button on there. I'll do that myself, probably tomorrow. So yeah. So I've got this t-shirt. This is the last thing I'm photographing. This is the 11th item. i got to be honest, there was another item I was going to photograph, but I tried it on because there's no size in it and it actually fits me, sort of. So it's got to be about a size 20, but I'm going to try it on properly tomorrow. And if, I, if it fits me, I'm going to keep it because it's really nice. Um, so yeah, I've got this t-shirt by a brand called Jawbreaker. I don't know who they are. I've never heard of them. But it's got this lovely sort of Corpse Bride Day of the Dead image on the front so because it's a, a t-shirt i'm going to photograph it like that so that we can see the um the picture properly but the back is got splits so it's going to be very hard to see that in a photograph so although i will photograph it this way as well i'm actually going to put it on Maisie so that you can see through the back so i'm going to do that one next and i'll show you what i mean there you go there's the the back as you can see it's um, stringed. So I'll turn it around and show you the front on Maisie. So there's the front on Maisie. This one doesn't look too bad. Some t-shirts they just don't look right on a, a mannequin because the print doesn't show up. I will photograph it on her as well and um, those photos up as well. So yeah I kind of like that t-shirt.
Morning guys, it is Saturday morning. Jennifer got me up at six this morning. I'm absolutely knackered. Did you see I've taken my glasses off? I'm that tired. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. Not much. I'm watching some YouTube at the moment. Some Judy Garland YouTube. So those of you who know me know I'm into old Hollywood. Mainly Marilyn Monroe, but I also love Judy Garland, Jean Harlow, Betty Grable, Doris Day, um, Clark Gable, Cary Grant... All those guys. Harry Grant's from my hometown of Bristol, UK. So, got a kind of a soft spot there for him. So, yeah, I actually, yesterday I ordered myself a Marilyn hoodie. So, I'll show you that when it comes in. It's really nice. I haven't got a Marilyn hoodie. All my Marilyn t-shirts fallen apart. And I'm loath to buy myself anything. But I'm actually treating myself this weekend. So, I've ordered that. I'm looking at some Judy Garland records and CDs on eBay and Amazon. Mostly eBay, because, yeah, some of them are ending tonight and some of them are quite old. So I'm, I'm going to have a look at them later. I've got, to, I've, I've got two eBay accounts now. So I've got the one, my selling account, Andrea's Attic. And then I've got my private account. I've opened up a private account for buying things like this because it's just stuff I'm buying for me. It's not to resell. And even if I was to resell, I'd buy it off the private account. So I've only bought, so far I bought um, a shoe sizer for Jennifer. It's highly exciting. And I've got a little feedback on that because it is here. Um, three LPs from um, Kerry Carter 1976 who I've bought from before. They haven't been dispatched yet, but he has so many auctions on. When you buy more than one, he'll wait to see um, when his auctions ends before he sends them in case he's got any more to bundle up because he does free shipping. Oh, that doesn't bother me. They'll get it. I know they'll get it because he's really reliable. He's a really good seller. Um, but I'm looking at some Judy Garland records, some vinyls, some seven inches, some LPs. There's an LP that somebody I know was looking for in the States um, is on there. So I might try and get that for him and, and send it to him because I'm nice. I'd want it for myself because it is a Judy one, but if it came up again, I'd just get it again. Um, I've ordered myself a Judy Garland book that I haven't got, which was uh, John Fricke's uh, A Life in Art and Anecdote. It's the one really good book that's been outstanding for my collection that I've wanted for a long time. And I thought, sod it, I'm buying it. It's, I got it for off of eBay for 20 quid. So it retailed originally around 45 i think but so i bought that today and i normally don't buy myself anything i got so many books to read including books on old hollywood i got some may west to read but and i pre-ordered a new marilyn book that's due out next month it's sort of it's not just about marilyn though it's called the goddess and the girl next door um how and it's about how marilyn's last film something's got to give became doris day's film move over darling so it chronicles the last days of Marilyn's life and the making of something it's got to give. And then it carries on after her death with um, how it became Move Over Darling, how Doris Day took over. So I, it, it's it's a, a sizable book. It's over 300 pages, so it should be quite interesting. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to, to reading that. Um, I'm also looking at some Judy Garland DVDs. I really want to get some more Judy Garland films on DVD. I've got some. But some of them are really hard to get in, in the UK. They've not been released. So, and the ones that have, they're like £18. So they're quite expensive. So I might just um, find them on eBay and buy them like one one every month as a treat. Um, um, yeah, because I love movies. I still haven't watched Wonder Woman. It was on the other day on TV and I still haven't watched the, the Blu-ray I've got of it. I might watch a movie tonight. I'll let you know if I do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any eBay. I'm supposed to be taking Paul over to his mum so he can have a shower. Um... But we're, because Jennifer was up so early, she went to bed early last night to be fair. I'll keep her up later tonight so she sleeps later in the morning. I might take him tomorrow. And we were going to have fish and chips in the in the um, chip shop like we have done the last couple of weeks. But because they were only open to like two or three, something like that, I probably won't. But I might drive down there later and get fish and chips anyway, just as a treat. And I'll, I'll take Paul's card and get some cash out and to the chip shop and then come back i don't care where i park on the weekend because tomorrow we go shopping anyway so yeah not a lot happened i've had no sales since wednesday i think they've turned me off i am expecting a return i had a message from ebay saying it, it should have been delivered by now it hasn't been i don't know what's happened to it so i will contact ebay on monday just to say sorry i've got youtube on in the background and the screen saver's just come on that's why it's gone blue <laughs> Um, I was going to tell you a story, but last night we were talking about The Wizard of Oz and Judy Garland, 
because I found a new YouTube channel, which I will tell you about in a minute. Um, and it was really weird because we were talking about Wizard of Oz and I said how I was looking forward to sitting down and watching it with Jennifer when she's a bit older. And I brought Jennifer up to bed, put her to bed. Like I said, it was a bit earlier than normal. And I went back downstairs and I was, you know, we carried on talking about Judy Garland and watching this YouTube channel. It's just this YouTube tuber was talking about Judy Garland. And yeah, I decided to come up to bed. So came up to bed and I thought, just check on Jennifer. And, oh, excuse me. I popped my head into the door and I went to open the door. I thought I can hear music. And I opened the door and she's got this thing about the alarm clock. She turns the alarm clock round to face her in bed so she can see the time. Not that she can tell it. And she can see the numbers. And she'd managed to switch it on. Now I'm going to show you all the buttons on the top of this um, clock. This is the alarm clock. Um, I have it in here for when I sleep in here with Jennifer in case I need to get it. It's got paint on it and everything from when we were decorating the room. So as you can see, you've got all these buttons. And somehow she managed to switch the radio on off button out of all of those. Anyway, so that was clever enough. But it was songs from The Wizard of Oz. It was so bizarre. Um, it's usually tuned to classic, classic FM, I think it was. And they were having an overview of... Um, songs from Wizard of Oz, they had songs, uh, the end of a song from The Wiz and, and Wicked. Because um, it is the 80th anniversary of The Wizard of Oz this year, the, the release of the film. So it, in a way, it's not surprising, but it was just really quite freaky that we were talking about The Wizard of Oz. Jennifer managed to switch the clock radio on and it was something about The Wizard of Oz. I came out and I could hear Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Anyway, it was a bit weird. So yeah, I discovered this new YouTuber. He's only got two videos out at the moment. His name's Mike and his channel's called, um, oh God, what's it called? Hang on, I'm just gonna go and check. Okay, so the channel's called My Love Affair with Showbiz. Um, he's a huge Judy Garland fan. He's got nearly three, nearly 400 albums of Judy Garland music, among other things. But he's gonna be talking about all aspects of show business. The first two episodes are just about Judy Garland. The first one's about albums, and the second one's about a general overview of her life and career. He's a fascinating man. He's a fascinating channel. He's only got nine subscribers, of which I'm one. So if you're into old Hollywood, showbiz, Judy Garland, that sort of thing, Go check out his channel. I'll put a link below in, in the description box so that you can see it because it is such a, it is such a good channel. And he sits in front of this wall of books and I'm like this, clicking my neck, trying to read the titles of the book. So I can see he's got the MGM story, which I've got. I can see he's got the MGM When the Lion Roars, which I've also got. He's got a couple of books on Charlie Chaplin. Uh, he's got a book on Peter Fonda. He's got books on Clark Gable. <laughs> and I'm like trying to read the... the um, the titles of the books but yeah so go check out mike's channel it's my love affair with show business there will be a link down below he's definitely worth watching if you're into old hollywood and showbiz in general it's only got two videos out at the moment he seems to be posting one a month at the moment that might change i hope it does i'd love to see more from him um yeah so definitely go check out his channel even if you only watch those two videos i hope he'll post lots more i'm hoping he'll do a bookshelf tour and recommend some books um for us you know what I like with books and, and Hollywood. I, ooh, 